Welcome to Beijing Lifestyles where we give you the best of Barbados and all of its hidden treasures. Today I thought I'd take a little tour, take you guys on a little tour of the Spite Stone St. Peter which is one of the towns here in Barbados. It's not one of the more popular towns but it has its little, you know, unique and cultural difference. So yeah, I'm here actually by the, um, the bay, I guess, one of the bays. I'll let you guys see. Um, Spite Stone sits right on the edge of the coast. So yeah, it's quite beautiful. Yeah. Hopefully that wasn't too loud. But yeah, let's see how this goes. Here is pretty much the start from like Jordan's supermarket. This interesting building over there. Got a church here. And going around. There is a plaza here. This is Jordan Supermarket. It's been here a very, very long time. I'll try to find out and put it here for you guys. Relatively um, budget friendly supermarket. And then we have over here um, this building recently burned. I'll try to insert a clip. And then that's the plaza. We have our own version of Dor Dollarama. It's called Dollar Wise, as you can see right here. Yeah, so let's keep going and see what else there is. I, I thought this was the one that burned, but no, it's not. This is the one over here. You see the roof? That's the one that actually burned. <laughs> I'm not sure what this one was. So yeah, let's continue. is the main street of Spite Stone. Um, still pretty old and vintage. Sorry, you can go ahead. <laughs> it's okay. Um, and here, this little nook. This is 11, oh my God, the name is not coming to me, but I did a video here already. Um, it's a really nice place. This one looks this way from the outside, but it's actually pretty cool inside. So this kind of starts, for me, this is the start of Jordan's, this is the start of Spite Stone. Then we've got this, this building here, this nice restaurant here. I think it's called 111. Yeah. And opposite that, there is a bank, Republic Bank. And opposite that, then there's a bunch of plazas. So let's go down that way. This is another set of plazas. Oh, that is cute. It's heck. That is very cute. They've got the vendors selling their produce. It's always beautiful. Guy here has got a great amount of snacks. And then we have the local and co kitchen restaurant and supermarket, I think. Not supermarket. It's like a grocery. But for uh, like um, a little bit more high end. I actually have to do a video there too. So you can look up for that. And we have Quartz, which is like our Walmart. <laughs> Kinda. Lots of credit. Some more stores to so buy your clothing if you wanna. Some more stores over here. Some more vendors. Mm -hmm. 
I love the buildings aren't in use on this side of the road, but I think they're up for sale and they will be bought and used for some high end restaurant. It's kind of getting developed. Another bank. Got a little window to the sea, which is a rare occasion in most of the west coast of Barbados. Seems to have a little bar here starting up called Just Chilling Bar. So many old buildings. Uh, I think in a, about 10 years or so, this will no longer look like this. It'll be very much polished up. You got Bray Street Store, another lady selling her produce. Hello, hi. Another empty looking building it looks like. Actually it is empty. Alright, sorry about the shakiness. Try my best to stay stable. Good morning. It's actually quite short and small the town. See so imagine one of those small American towns where there are like 500 people. This is quite still. And we have Fisherman's Pub, which is well known for its Caribbean Bajan food. I've had it a couple times, it's pretty good. Here we have, for the life of me, I don't know what this is called. The Wonder Bridge, don't know how they call it the Greenage. I don't think that's the correct name for it. Then on the other side, because this is a bridge, you have the ocean and the jetty that's being rebuilt. This is the Espanade. I believe that's the Spanish word, but it's kind of like a little green space in the middle of a town. Actually cool. Instead of painted, it almost looks like pencil work. Probably it's homage to Spice Town. So you can see you've got Jordans, you've got the tram, the bus, you've got the water, the jetty, you've got the market, churches. This makes up Spice Town. Pretty much. And the church is over here, so we're going over the church quickly and then go back over the boardwalk. What I love about Spice Town is that it's very antique it's very historic, it's very edited. I have the horrible words for it, but I'll answer it. I'm here when I figure it out. I don't seem to be thinking very much today. So yeah, look at that. It is very rustic. It's like history just kind of stopped in time and, and I love that. Oh, here's the Orange Street grocer. Good to know. Yeah, the Orange Street grocer. And looks like another building that is not in use. There's so many of them. Seems to be an Airbnb of some sort here. I'll we'll zoom in for you guys. Harmless plug for them. Come on, baby, focus. Here we go. There you go. So, interested in staying on the West Coast and having this as your morning view? And you're interested in what it looks like? That's the number, that's the name. This is what it looks like from the outside. Let's take a little further walk down and see what else is down here. I love it. I love this um, style of beachfront walk. It's beautiful. Here's the building again. And again, another, another um, building that's just not in use. It looks like a vagrant lives here, sad. These are beautiful properties. So guys, if you have the funds and you can invest in a beautiful beachfront property in Barbados, with this kind of view, <laughs> here's one right here. 
All right, let's see. Is this one also out of use as well? Yes, another one. But I think someone may be upstairs living. Another property that is not fully in use. I think someone may live there. Let's go on down and see what else we, well, this is down here. You probably hear me better know that I'm away from the jackhammers that were dealing with the um, jetty, the repairing the jetty. That jetty has been out of commission for a long time. Really sad. Really happy to see this um, coming back together. Oh, look. And now we're on to a beach. This beach, I'm not sure it's called, but I know that the restaurant in the far off side there, that is Hugo's. And then down there, we have, girl, why are you out of focus all day? Down down there, Port St. Charles, Port, um, our right cement plant in the way, way distance. Yeah, so distant that she will not even focus. There you go. Nope. There you go, lovey. There we go. It's like a legit little tiny boat. That is so adorable. So cute. And there's a complete rock. This rock sticking out prominently in the water at a shore. Let me take you closer. You know what? I'm going to walk along the beach so you guys can get that. Barbados beach experience. White sand, grass in it this time around. Not the usual things because the beach space is pretty thin here. Look at that beautiful turquoise blue waters. It's just so beautiful. There's so many of these little tiny beaches that there aren't a lot of people on. They are just amazing. little church so cute and <laughs> tiny beautiful big tree next to it it's the beach and then on this side all of these I believe are apartments for rent Airbnbs places you can stay I'm just gonna take a quick walk down there so you guys can see so this one is called poppies right there very cute, very quaint. This one is called Sunset Sands. Um, it is actually very nice inside. Girl, why are you not focusing? Mm, you do doing the most. Yeah, Sunset Sands. Beautiful interior. Nice little garden area. You can actually get married here too. So if you want to stay here and get married here. And also get married on the beach. That is possible in beautiful Barbados. So. When are you coming? Sunset Sands. Their content information is here. They're on their Sunny Villa, girl. Focus. You are playing there. Mm -hmm. Sunset Sunny Villas. That's where you can find them on the web. This one, another one doesn't look like it's in use. Such a beautiful like exterior. I just, you know, someday I'd love to be able to take one of these buildings and restore them this one here looks big as you can see i think they're closed upstairs there so there are definitely options down here but it will be a bit pricey this is the platinum close close guys and here looks like someone lives upstairs that one right plans to it's rather strange it's like old and front and then redone in the back which is actually a thing we do here this is hugo's it was once a lovely restaurant <laughs> that did not survive COVID, sadly. And yeah, and the, I think that is pretty much it. The beach is on that way. 
It was beach and I'm gonna head back up. By the way, this is my favorite tree in the world. It's called neem. If you heard of neem oil. These leaves, the tree, the fruit, is actually so beneficial in so many ways. If you like to know, follow me on Instagram and TikTok and you'll find out more. Hope you can hear me. Off of the main street of Spice Town, there are each of these little gaps. I call them gaps. Little side streets and they um, all have a couple of things. <laughs> Horrible description. Um, what is this? I swear I'm teaching you guys as I'm learning as well. Was this a school? Is this a school? It is a school. Which school? I do not know. Okay, let's move on. Here in Spice, so you'll find a lot of um, older style homes like this one. It's so cute. There's something about vintage homes that I just love. Another little vintage Bajan home called them Chattel Houses. Why? I don't know. A lot of our words are Spanish or French, like Esplanade and um, also what's it called? Gallery and, and front house. We have different words that seem French. This is the police station, as I was saying. It looks pretty modern actually. Nicely done for once. Then over there is the transportation, government transportation, which is called transport board. What a day for me to lose all sense of English. Here we have the Spice Zone Transport Board um, station. <laughs> Going through the fence. <laughs> I made it. These blue buses are government owned, the yellow ones and semi-white ones are private but these take you anywhere in Barbados and it's pretty cheap I think it's $3 Barbados 150 US haven't actually gone on a bus in a while but I think it's $3 or 350 again I didn't editing Sabrina correct me you guys I have to tell you um, Barbadians don't like to be filmed so always do ask if you're going to take a photo and they're included um, I'm here at like 9 in the morning so it's pretty late. So if you want to, good morning. You want to come to these places and kind of get a feel for the life here. If I like being too busy, I'd say come early in the morning when it's cool out. Not too many people, but that's enough to give you that, you know, cultural feel. So this is where the private buses, the yellow ones, um, park just outside of the the. Um, Transport for the government one. Good morning. I always say good morning too. <laughs> yeah. So, some more vendors. Hello. Nice. Little mini stalls here. So, it's a little busy here and a lot of Bajans, and Bajans don't like when you record them, so I will stop recording for now. Here's a little intersection. Traffic lights and all. <laughs> Good morning. So remember I said there are a lot of little side gaps. Here's another one. I think this one is filled with like supermarkets and hardware stores. Yeah, that kind of jazz. So I'll give you a quick look. Something here called Six Point Variety. Then we have this cute little thing here. Intercession Adult Alternatives. Okay. Wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Shop Smart. This is another food place. We've got another church. Lots of little churches all around. So the guy, gentleman just told me a lot of the buildings that I saw. They actually were up, they were sold, and they were actually going to be redone. Um, but COVID kind of halt a lot of that. So if you see a lot of buildings, it doesn't mean that we're not trying to take care of <laughs> this beautiful little island. It's just COVID has kind of halted a lot here. Yeah, so like I said, this gap is filled with hardware stores. I'm not sure where that is. I think that sells food. Then we've got more hardware stores here. And all the way here. Uh, a little vintage mark. Yeah. 
What I love about Spice Town is so unedited Barbados. So lovely. So you you <coughs> pop these yourself? Huh? You pop these yourself? Uh, oh, okay. I'm trying to make them. Oh, okay. What type of fish is it? It's a old white. A what? A old white. Old white? Yeah, old white. Oh. I'll do that. Thank you. You better. The mess of luck with the fish. Yeah. <laughs> Okay guys, so that was Spikestown, Barbados, quaint little town on the west coast. Very beautiful. As you can see, I'm enjoying the view right now. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye!